an international research project to determine whether new technology can help save children's lives during cardiac emergencies is being led through a partnership between Alberta Health Services and the University of Calgary. Roughly the size of a credit card, the CPR card is placed at the center of a patient's chest before cardiopulmonary resuscitation is administered. During chest compressions, an LED display provides real-time information that lets emergency responders and healthcare providers know whether CPR is being performed most effectively. When a child comes in with cardiac arrest, the only thing that's been shown to be effective is the quality of CPR. Uh, it doesn't necessarily matter um, how quickly we place an IV or how much fluid we give a child or necessarily how much medication we give, uh, CPR is the number one most important intervention. So what you see in front of you is the CPR card and on the CPR card on the left side there's a stack of boxes here which indicate depth and so as the provider presses progressively deeper the lights will shine um, in a lower, lower down on this stack and so the top one is simply good compressions in an infant, the middle one is good compressions in a child or adult on a hard surface and the bottom one is good compressions in a child or adult on a soft surface. In the middle here you see a speedometer and what we're asking our providers to do is to do chest compressions at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute or compressions per minute and if they're able to accomplish that there'll be a green light that shines in the middle. If they're too slow it'll shine over here and if they're too fast, namely greater than 100 compressions, 120 compressions a minute, it'll shine over here. During the initial study phase of the research project, Health providers in Alberta will test the technology on sophisticated lifelike mannequins that simulate breathing, pulses, blood pressure, speech and sound, replicating a child's response to illness, injury and treatment. Alberta Children's Hospital will serve as headquarters for the international project involving 10 sites that include the Stollery Children's Hospital in Edmonton, Johns Hopkins Children's Hospital in Baltimore, Maryland, the Synapse Simulation Centre at Yale School of Medicine in New Haven, Connecticut and the Bristol Royal Hospital for Children in England. Across all sites, the project will involve more than 300 healthcare providers, including nurses, medical residents, and students. So I can see from the card, it's telling me I have great speed, so I've hit my target for my rate of compressions. It's also telling me I need to press a bit harder, so it tells me I can keep at this speed, but I really need to be getting better depth in my compressions. And while I'm doing depth, I have to still be careful to really let the chest recoil so the heart can fill properly. I know that my target for good CPR rate is 100 to 120 beats per minute. But in the moment when there's a lot going on around me, it's inherently a stressful, adrenaline-filled situation. If I can have a card to be that little reminder to say, you're actually going way faster, or you know what, speed up, then it just, even though I know that, it's helpful to have that little reminder to say, oh, you've actually backed off a little bit, speed back up, press a little bit harder, you need to go deeper. We all also sort of, our pediatric population, we see everyone from one day old to 18 years old. So the actual proper depth of compression is very different among our patient population. The CPR card is produced by Lairdahl Medical, a global corporation dedicated to helping save lives through the advancement of resuscitation and emergency care. And the best part about it is that the data or the quality of compressions is actually stored inside the card. So if we want to see retrospectively how we did, we can simply scan the card into our computer and it'll allow us to know how well we did during the event. At this point in time, it's purely focused on cardiac arrest in kids, um, but in future directions, would look to explore the use of this card in adults.